Hi young scientists, my name is Sanika, I'm 16 years old and I love science. I also like sharing my love for science and so today I'm going to show you how to build a catapult and while doing so we are going to learn about the transfer of energy. So first let's build our catapult. Here's what you'll need. You'll need nine popsicle sticks, five rubber bands, one plastic spoon, and something to shoot with. This can be a ping pong ball, um, erasers, tin foil balls, pieces of paper, anything. Now, the first step is to take seven popsicle sticks and to stack them on top of each other and secure them together using two rubber bands. It should look something like this. Next, you're gonna set aside your seven popsicle sticks and take the two remaining popsicle sticks and tie them together using only one rubber band at only one end. Like so. Next, pull apart your two popsicle sticks and take your plastic spoon and secure it on top of one side using your remaining two rubber bands. It should look something like this. Finally, wedge your two popsicle sticks apart with the plastic spoon being on the upper stick and wedge your seven stack in between like so. Now your catapult is ready for launching. So what you want to do is you're going to take whatever you want to shoot with, so for example I have my ping pong ball, and you're going to place it onto the spoon. You're going to hold the catapult down with one hand and with the other you're going to press down on the spoon and launch. So now let's find out why exactly the ball gets launched. It might look a little obvious but there's actually really cool science behind it. Basically when I press down on the upper stick my hand gives its energy to the rubber band holding the upper stick. That energy gets stored into the rubber band and becomes potential energy. Think of potential energy like a battery. When you charge a battery, the energy gets stored in it. So now when I let go, this stored energy becomes energy of motion or kinetic energy and gets transferred to the ball, causing it to get launched in the air. So think of it again as your battery. Let's say you take your charged battery with all of its stored up and potential energy and you put it in say, a computer mouse. The stored energy in the battery gets transferred to the computer mouse, allowing it to work. So in short, the reason why this catapult works is because energy can be converted from one type to another and transferred from one object to another. Now I want you to do your own experiment. Try different objects. Do heavier objects go further? How about flatter ones? What happens if you press down on the upper stick with more force? What about less? Try it out. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Please join me next time to learn how to make paddle boats, extending arms, and other fun activities, while also learning how science is applied everywhere around you. Bye!